guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're going to start off with the eyes because it is an eye look today. So I've just primed my lids to create a nice neutral base. I'm going in with the eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow I'm using is from the 350 Morphe palette and it's this soft orange shade from the palette. I'm just whacking that baby in and out in the crease with a soft crease brush from Zoeva. And I'm making sure to apply a little bit of this product at a time so that it's easy to blend out. Don't mind the lighting change guys, the clouds were covering the sun at some points through the video, but it does correct itself really, really quickly, so I hope you, hopefully you guys can just look past that. Thanks, Dal. I make sure to blend it up towards the brow bone, not too far up, just enough so that the orange shade that we apply next will look nice and soft and blended underneath. I go in with a soft, fluffy brush from Zoeva, this is just the crease brush, and I'm just blending out any edges that I feel may be too harsh so it's a really soft very blended look so it fades into the skin nice and softly. Next I'm taking a deeper orange shade on a petite crease brush again from Zoeva and I'm placing that just below where I placed that lighter orange shade starting from the outer corner and just working my way in with soft buffing motions little windscreen wiper motions in and out in the crease and I'm using a very very light hand as I move up towards the brow bone. So I want most of that product focused in the crease area and then blend it softly up towards the brow bone. Then I take some of that lighter orange shade on that same soft crease brush and I'm just buffing out any harsh edges with that lighter shade to help create a nice gradient effect. And next we're going on to the lid area. So I'm grabbing these two shades from again my Morphe 350 palette. It's the only palette that I use today so it's a really easy to achieve look if you guys do have this palette. And I grab it on a flat shader brush from Zoeva. And I'm just packing on those two shades on the lid area because I wanted a nice peachy kind of monochromatic look. So I want to keep it really kind of one like base, just lighter shades. And it is slightly shimmery on the lid, which is, which is what I love. I feel it's really girly and very soft. It's a very easy daytime look to achieve. So once I've placed that all over the lid, I go in with some winged liner. I'm creating a quite a dramatic wing here. So I'm angling the liner up towards the tail of my brow and then I'm just filling it in with my Model Co liquid liner. And to deepen up that color, I'm going in with my NYX Glam liner in the shade Black. I don't really like this liner because it does crack and peel away, I found, but it does create a nice rich color. So if you guys have a liquid, a liquid liner that is nice and rich, then I would recommend using that. For lashes, the star of the show today, I'm going in with the Sultry Lashes from Anitude. Oh my god, guys, like, can we just take a moment? These are the most beautiful, dramatic lashes I've ever seen in my entire life. They look so natural, so wispy, and so fluttery. I just, I'm in love. This is my newfound love. <laughs> it's so nice, and it complements this look so well because you can see the eyeshadow peeking through behind. Because the lashes aren't too full, that they will cover up all that eyeshadow that we've done. It's just nice and fluttery and like soft. It's just perfect. Next, I'm going in with a nude coal liner to place in my waterline and moving on to the bottom lash line. So I'm taking a gloss pencil brush, I believe, and grabbing some of that lighter orange shade that we used in the crease at the very beginning. And I'm buffing that from outer corner all the way to the inner corner to create a nice smoky effect. I want to make sure to focus most of that product on the outer corner and join it up to where the wing is so that there's no gap in between. And then I'm buffing out the edges with a crease brush so it's nice and soft and there's no harsh lines. Next I'm taking the Zoeva pencil brush. It's a more like pointed pencil brush so it's a bit more defined. And I'm placing that deeper orange shade tightly against my lash line, buffing it from outer corner and blending whatever's left towards the inner corner. I do want more of the product to be focused on the outer corner because I do like that more elongated almond eye shape. Then I'm going back in with some of that lighter orange on that soft crease brush and I'm just buffing out that deeper orange to create a nice gradient effect. Next you guys can place on your favourite bottom lash mascara. And that is it for the eyeshadow. So next for the inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going in with Mary Lou by The Balm. It's a gorgeous champagne-y highlight and I'm placing this on the inner corner 
and slightly beneath the inner corner tear duct area, like dragging it down towards the bottom lash line a little bit, and then placing it on my brow bone as well. Just for a little bit of a pop. You guys can use a matte white shadow if you don't want a highlight shimmery shade, but I do like a shimmer highlight. And that is the eyes completed. I'm so happy with how they turned out. And it's such an easy to achieve look, guys. Any of you guys can achieve it if you have the palette or if you have similar colors. You guys can use the same technique. So because this is a monochromatic look, I wanted to create a nice peachy lip. So I'm going in with Jungle Peach from Revlon. It's this gorgeous peachy shade. And I'm placing this all over my lips to continue the peach feels, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't even know what that was, guys. <laughs> and that is the peach monochromatic makeup look completed. I just went in with some peachy blush and my usual like foundation routine. If you guys want to look at it, check out my previous videos. If you guys like the video and want to see more tutorials like this one, then please give it a big thumbs up so that I know you guys like these types of videos. And if you guys would like to stay up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials, then subscribe, clicking that red subscribe button down below. Otherwise, guys, have an incredible, incredible day. If you do want to recreate this look, then please tag me in any social medias. They're all listed down below in the description bar along with all the products that I used today. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in my next tutorial. I love you so much. Bye, guys.